the phantom gale. In the heart of the tempestuous devil's triangle, where the sea churned with an eerie intensity, there sailed a ship shrouded in spectral mist, a vessel cursed by the wrath of the restless dead. This was no ordinary ship but a phantom galleon known as the Banshee, condemned to traverse the boundless oceans for all eternity. Legends spoke of a once majestic vessel, helmed by the notorious Captain Redgrave. The Banshee had sailed the seas in pursuit of treasures and conquests, its black sails billowing in the wind like the wings of a ravenous vulture. However, greed had consumed Redgrave's heart, leading him to betray his loyal crew in a ruthless pursuit of an otherworldly artifact, the Eye of the Abyss. As the Banshee neared the fabled artifact's location, an unholy tempest engulfed the ship. Lightning danced across the sky, and waves surged like vengeful spirits. The heavens unleashed their fury, claiming both ship and crew. Yet, as the sea swallowed the Banshee, a malevolent force fused with its very essence, transforming it into a ghostly vessel tethered to the realm of the living. Since that ill-fated night, the Banshee drifted through the oceanic abyss, its ghostly silhouette a harbinger of doom for any sailor unfortunate enough to cross its path. Stories of the cursed ship spread among seafarers, each tale more ominous than the last. Captain Olivia Hale, a seasoned maritime adventurer with a reputation for courting the mysterious, caught wind of the Banshee's legend. Driven by a relentless curiosity, she assembled a fearless crew to embark on a perilous journey into the heart of the Devil's Triangle, where the ghost ship was rumored to roam. As the crew set sail, ominous clouds gathered overhead, and the sea whispered tales of the spectral tempest that awaited them. The air grew heavy with a sense of foreboding as the banshee materialized from the ethereal mist, its hull creaking with the weight of centuries. The ghost ship loomed on the horizon, its tattered black sails billowing with a ghostly wind. The crew, undeterred by the phantom vessel's ominous presence, marveled at the eerie beauty that exuded from the banshee, unaware of the curse that awaited them. As the crew drew nearer, the atmosphere became charged with an otherworldly energy. Captain Hale, standing at the helm, felt a spectral force pulling at the very core of her being. The banshee seemed to beckon, its siren call resonating with the crew's deepest fears and desires. The ship's lanterns flickered, casting distorted shadows that danced upon the ghostly deck. Unearthly whispers echoed through the air, the voices of Redgrave's betrayed crew seeking vengeance against those who dared to trespass upon their eternal prison. In the midst of the supernatural maelstrom, the banshee's form shifted, its sails taking on an ethereal glow. The sea itself seemed to respond, rising in tumultuous waves as if heralding the arrival of an ancient force. As Captain Hale and her crew pressed forward, a ghostly figure materialized on the banshee's deck a specter adorned in tattered naval attire, its eyes burning with a vengeful fire. The spirit of Captain Redgrave himself emerged, wielding the accursed eye of the abyss, a relic that pulsed with an ominous power. The ghostly figure spoke of betrayal and the unquenchable thirst for revenge that bound the banshee to the eternal seas. Redgrave's crew, now tormented souls seeking restitution, manifested alongside their captain, their forms shimmering with an otherworldly radiance. The Banshee's spectral crew, with hollow eyes fixed upon the intruders, raised their ethereal cutlasses in unison. Captain Hale, recognizing the peril that awaited, ordered her crew to brace for impact as the ghost ship surged forward, propelled by a supernatural force. The clash that followed was a dance of the living and the dead, the sound of steel against steel, the chilling wails of ghostly entities and the thunderous roars of the sea. Captain Hale fought with a ferocity born of desperation, her crew battling alongside her against the relentless apparitions that emerged from the cursed ship. Yet, as the spectral tempest raged, the Banshee's vengeful force proved insurmountable. Crew members vanished one by one, swallowed by the ghostly mists that enveloped them. Captain Hale, undeterred by the encroaching shadows, pressed on, her eyes locked onto the burning gaze of Captain Redgrave. In a final, climactic clash, Captain Hale and Captain Redgrave faced off on the ethereal deck. The eye of the abyss pulsed with an ominous radiance, 
its power threatening to consume all in its wake. As the captains locked eyes, a surge of spectral energy coursed through them, linking the living and the dead in a singular moment of reckoning. In that fleeting instant, a ghostly revelation unfolded, Redgrave's lust for power, the crew's betrayal, and the unending torment that bound the banshee to the depths of the Devil's Triangle. Captain Hale, fueled by an indomitable will, seized the eye of the abyss, breaking the spectral connection that bound the ghost ship to the earthly realm. The ethereal storm dissipated, and the banshee, freed from its cursed tether, vanished into the mist. The sea, once turbulent, calmed as if appeased by the resolution of centuries-old grievances. As Captain Hale and the remnants of her crew sailed away from the now tranquil waters, a spectral whisper lingered in the air, the voices of Redgrave's crew, now liberated from the curse that had ensnared them. The Devil's Triangle, once a realm of haunted shadows, returned to an uneasy stillness, the Banshee's legend forever etched into the maritime lore of those brave enough to sail the seas. Captain Hale, bearing the weight of the ghostly encounter, knew that she and her surviving crew members carried the scars of an otherworldly confrontation. Yet, as they sailed into the horizon, the legend of the Banshee faded, the cursed ship now lost in the vast expanse of the eternal sea, a maritime ghost story retreating into the annals of nautical history.